we are using airflow inside a docker image so if you do pip install in your local local system it will it won't work so right now we are using whatever image we are using so we we have to import that image we have to extend the image with our newly created docker image so what i mean to say is you have to create one docker image and in that docker image you have to import your library okay so this is very simple you have to follow certain step here so i have already prepared the step so what what we need to do is you have to create one requirement.txt file let's suppose that i want to import pp library because we i want to download data from twitter for that we need to import pp that's what i was trying to do but it was not working so you have to create one docker uh, docker container that contain the pp library so how to do so we will create one uh, requirement dot txt file will keep pp there and then again we have to create docker file and in this docker file it is very simple what we are doing is currently we are using if you see here in my docker compose image currently we are using apache airflow version 2.5.5.1 so here pp library is not installed okay so we will extend this one so how to do so from this image okay we will copy first our newly created requirement of txt file inside docker container and then we will in install this one this is very simple so once you do once you follow this first step second step then you have to build the image so and to build the image the command is docker build and then tag and then whatever image name you want to keep you can keep it here okay and then once you will do all this all this three step then you have to restart your apache web server and scheduler and but before starting this one you have to use extending airflow image that you have created just now from this docker file okay so let's quickly start doing this hope you will have understand once you will do this one by yourself you will understand clearly so i will come here and uh, I'll just create one file. File name will be Docker Requirement dot txt, and here I will keep two p because what is not working here two p. So you can keep two p. You can keep uh, whatever library you want. Okay. You can keep two uh, p space and equal to. You can give the version name as well. If you are not giving the version, it will install latest one. It's very simple, and save it. And then again, you have to create Docker file. In the Docker file, you have to give all those things. So, you know what I want to say. So let me copy this content. I will share this this all these things in description so that it will be easy for you. Hope you have understood these things. It's very simple. And then after doing this, these two things, we need to build the image. Okay, to building the image, this is that you can give any name. I let me give the extended, extended airflow. Okay, and this is tag. Latest. So just run this one. It will take just one to two minutes. If you see, this is uh, working fine. It is done. Once it will done, then you have to come to the. You can check what is the image got created on. So to check the image, command is Docker image and ls. You can see, I am having extended airflow and tag is latest. This is created. So. What I will do, I will go to the compose docker compose dot yml, and I will replace this one. So let me just copy this one. Extended airflow latest, and uh, let us replace this one. Okay. Save it. Then you can you have to to start web server and scheduler again. 
to start this, this is the command. I just clear the screen and then paint paste. It will take some time to recreate, maybe one minute, two minute. We'll wait for that. Now you can go inside the container and you can check whether this is installed or not. So for that command is docker run it and extend it so I will go here what is my image name is image name is extended airflow go inside this I'm going inside the container now you go inside the python and then first check whether it is imported or not. So, 2P. You can see this is working fine. So, this, this is the way you can check. So, now I will go to our UI and I will just refresh it. It will take some time to make this web page up. So, we will wait for that. So, now you can see this is up and running fine. Login here. Now you are not getting any error, right? You see, there is no error saying that import import problem. So now, if I will, this is my, I have already created one Python file where I am just testing to be version. If you see, this simple Python file, simple DAG, I am just importing one Python operator and I am just printing to be version. And just importing to p so before if you are not in have done this extended uh, extended uh, image things then you would have give, getting the error but after doing the creating one docker image and uh, using that docker image in your compose file you will not get uh, this error so i'm just this is simple this is i you know how to do this one so i've just changed the version to two to three so this is a uh, python operator i'm just calling this Python file, Python function here, and it will this Python file function just printing this 2p version. Okay, so refresh it. This is my 2p p3. Open this one and run it. So, whenever you want any library to be installed then you have to perform this step just put put that file into put that library into requirement.txt requirement.txt file and then perform this step create one docker file A docker file will be all, always there so, so next time you want to, to do just update in the requirement.txt create one image and then extend that image here and then start your web server and scheduler that's all nothing else so if you see i have ran it so it is import to be working fine and you see here it is printing 